Welcome to the Flash Performance Tiny Garage. I got an easy one for us today. Today I replaced the body control module in this 2006 Chevy Cobalt. I'm going to use my Maxisys MS906TS to do the coding to the PCM. So to do this, we're going to do it live together, just so you can see how fast and simple this is. So we're going to go ahead and select Diagnostics, and we're going to do Auto VIN. We are wireless to the car, so we're going to go ahead and communicate with Mode 9 to get all the information, including the VIN, which is right there. That's also going to give us the year, make, model, engine size, all that kind of information, which we have right there, 2006 Chevy Cobalt. So now that we're into the PCM, it's going to give us a couple of different options. It's going to give us the option for diagnostics. It's going to give us the option to be able to do uh, hot functions. So we're going to go ahead and select diagnostics. I know what control unit I want to go into. If you didn't, feel free to go into auto scan. So we're going to go into control unit, and I'm going to select instrument panel. The reason I select instrument panel is because the body control module actually separates itself into three different ways into this car. Uh, but you can get to it by going into the instrument panel. There's not a specific body control module, even when you're looking on the OE tool. So now that we're in this body control module, we're going to select special functions, body control module, and we're going to set up the sensing and diagnostic module, the SDM, part number in the BCM. So that's how we're going to code the BCM to the computer. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And we're just going to let it do its thing. Now, while it's doing that, we're going to read all the instructions, and it's going to say that it's going to do this to make sure the BCM and the PCM are matched. And we're all set. Now that we have the body control module coded, we need to code the radio to the body control module. We're going to go into control unit slide over to entertainment, and then select special functions, radio, and radio setup. Now there are two different versions of radios for this car, one with an equalizer and one without. So we need to make sure that we select the correct radio for our application. Ours is the UQ3, and it's as simple as that. Just a press of a button and the radio is now unlocked.